how to fix Fortnite unable to sign into your account for your PlayStation Network. If you're facing this issue, here are some simple steps which you can implement in order to fix this problem. First and foremost, whether you're using a PS4 or a PS4 Pro or a PlayStation 5, first and foremost, do a hard reset. For this, completely turn off your console and remove all the wires from your console. When the wires are removed, after that, hold the power button until any remaining power is left. Once it is done, after a couple of minutes, connect back all the wires and turn on your console and then try to log in into your game, see if that helps. Next step, what you can do is, generally this issue happens if there is a new update which the user have not done and for this, he faces this problem and it mostly happens on the PlayStation 4. For this, what you have to do is, you have to go to your PS4 settings with the help of a controller and then select System Software Update. If there is an update for latest version, it will automatically download it. Once the download is finished, then try to log in into your game, see if that helps. Next step, and probably the most important and the easy way to fix this problem is, if you're having this issue anytime on any console, simply change your network. What you have to do, the most effective way to do it is, you can turn on your mobile hotspot Spot, connect it to your console and then try to log in into the game. I'm pretty sure it's gonna fix your problem. And once it is done and you're in the lobby, then connect back with your LAN connection which you use in order to play the game and then you can play the game without any issues. So make sure you connect directly to your mobile hotspot or any other connection from the console or any other network with the console and then try to log in into your game, see if that helps. Next step, what you can do is, whether it's a PlayStation or a PS5 console, I would highly recommend you to enable your two-factor authentication. Or in simple words, you can say the two-step verification. For this, you have to sign into your account management on your PlayStation account on any device and then select security. From there, you have to go to the two-step verification status and choose edit. Select the verification method, whether it's the authentication app or the text message and enter your mobile number or scan the QR code with the authentication app. If the QR code fails, so simply copy and paste the numeric code onto your app and enter the verification code. You will receive the SMS or the app and select activate and make sure you have a record of your backup. Once it is done, I would recommend you to change your password as well, whatever password you're having. Once you have changed it and then try to sign in into your PlayStation and then log in into your game, see if that helps. Next step you can try is to install Fortnite on an another device. I would highly recommend you install in an Android device because over there the size will be less comparatively. And once you have installed it, then sign in onto your same account where you're having the issues and see whether you're having the issues over the Android as well. If not, you keep playing the game and when you're playing it, then you try to sign in into your PlayStation account. And once it is signed in over there, then you can log out from this account and then try to keep on playing the game on PlayStation. So it may happen that probably the server is not able to recognize it. So once your account is signed in or logged in into your mobile device, then you can go back to your PlayStation and try logging in over there. If it works, perfect, you can play the game. If it doesn't, you can move to the next step. The next and the most important step, you can manually change your DNS server. For this, what you have to do is, so let's say you have a PlayStation 5. So over there, you have to go to your home screen and go to settings and select network. From there, select settings and choose set up internet connection. In the advanced settings, you will see set the DNS settings and you have to choose manual. Enter the details of the primary and the secondary DNS server but the primary one you have to choose as 8888 and the secondary one is 8844 and this is the Google DNS server which probably is not as stable in that case you can use the alternative one which is the Cloudflare DNS server which is 11111001 so you can choose either of the DNS server. Once you have put it, click OK, restart your PlayStation 5 and then try to sign in or log in into your game. See if that helps. So that was the video quite plain and simple. Hope this step helped you in order to fix this problem. If you're still having the issue, you can put down in the comment section. Or if you're having a different kind of error after doing all this step, you can take a screenshot of this and you can tag me on my X handle. I'll try to provide you with a better fix for that. So that's it for the video then. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.